Hi, I just got back to my uh, rental property and I have another eviction notice. I have not been served any notice from the bank. And this is in U.S. District Court at this time. Uh, let me transfer your notice to in just a moment. Hello? Hi, this is Jessica. I'm calling from Bank of America. Hi, I just got another eviction notice on my uh, rental property. Uh-huh. And uh, it says for me that I'm to be evicted. Now, I haven't been served notice by the bank, first of all, and I've been to hey, court. And what's your address? It is uh, 19401 Burke. Burke Street? Okay. Yes. All right, so we need to deal with this thing about no notice. I haven't been given notice according to the Protecting Tenants from Foreclosure Act of 2009. That was put in the case file both in the district and the Superior Court. Hang on just a second. This is Sheila. Can I help you? Hi, I just got another eviction notice, although I've got my case in U.S. District and in Superior Court with the landlord. Now, I just got another notice. I still haven't received notice from the bank that there's well, an unlawful detainer. Well, if you're giving you the eviction, the, the officers are probably giving you one last chance to get out before we come lock you out. Okay, well, hold on, because what you're doing is unlawful. Nobody's well, abiding I, by the... I, I know. We went back and forth. The last we spoke with the judge, it was enforceable. We served it. We've not got any papers to remove it. Okay, now, so but you have, you have the indictment... Us, we will Ex be coming excuse and me. You out. Excuse me. You have an indictment against that judge. What are you doing not moving against a judge? This is an unlawful you proceeding. You contact your attorney. I, I don't know. I'm just going by what we're ordered to do. Do you realize that everything is ru being run by attorneys and you guys are being used as, as just fodder? Oh, well, I'm sorry, ma'am. We're ordered by the court that right. we and have it, to do. And it becomes your but responsibility if you, if you because you will not annoying and work it out with them, that, that's fine. But and, we're and, going by what we're ordered to do. And I'm supposed to call who? The, well, the attorneys are who would contact us to kick and, you out. And those are business associates, right? I mean, you guys I'm are sorry. a business. You guys are a business. And you want me to contact your business associates under RICO, which is what the indictment is. That's why you're not going after the judge. Now, this rings you in there. You lose your funding. Are you aware of this? We, we don't get funding, ma'am. You don't get any Department of Justice funding through the federal government, right? Not that I'm aware of. No, I mean, so, so you're just doing I, this out of the goodness I, of your I heart. I would suggest you contact the judge or, uh, you know, contact your attorney to find out where things are at. We're, we, were, we received an order to evict you. We served that Have I gotten any December. notice? Have I gotten any notice? From the bank. You, you got you got a notice. Wait a second. From you, our office yes. for the eviction back in December. Okay, that okay, we no. just it right? recently. Right, now stop there. Are you a representative of the bank? No. I have not received notice from the bank that there is a law an unlawful detainer going on. Okay, that is that a violation. Hold on, about. stop. We wait, wait, the wait, stop. The wait, wait, the stop. Wait, stop. You stop. Right. So, okay, we already got past this little impasse here. Now, on the Protecting Ten Tenants Against Foreclosure Act 2009, that is a law, correct? Okay, well. Wait, I, stop. I You're law enforcement. About all that, but the you went you are law enforcement. On. You are law enforcement. What are you doing enforcing this void order okay, and not enforcing the law? And, and discuss it with him, but last we knew, everything's a go. Okay, can you put me through to the lieutenant? He's, he's already gone for the day. And he's not dealing with this information that you guys received? Is that what you're telling we, me? We've been dealing with several aspects of it. Last I knew yesterday, if you were in Hanoi, contacted us if you had been served. And so are you, you represented? Been on February 27th to be out, so you had to... Wait a second, the, you just told me that you're not a representative to the bank. You served, so you had till the 26th to be out. Wait, you, you just told me that you're not a representative to the bank. How did I get served from the bank? I have not been served any notice from the bank, unless you are a representative of the, of the bank. We are a representative for the courts, ma'am. Okay, we now on... by the courts right. to evict you. That's okay. what we're going to do. Okay, if now the on... Bank contacts us and states to evict you. On January 11th, I went into court. The judge found that I have not received any service from the bank on January 11th. Now, from that point in time, I'm supposed to have 90 days from service from the bank. The bank has not served me. Okay, well, I, 
I can't help you, ma'am. Seawall and Hanoi is the ones to contact us. They did Wait a second. You you are oh. law enforcement. You are not attorney of for enforcement. How is this possible that you're enforcing what the attorneys say and not law? Now, there's something wrong here. She hung up on me. Thank you for calling the law firm of Seawall and Hanoi. Please listen carefully as our menu options have recently changed. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. If you are calling from an attorney's office or court, please press 1. If you are calling regarding a reinstatement or payoff, please press 3. If you are calling regarding a loss mitigation matter, please press 4. If you are calling regarding a sheriff's sale matter, please press 5. If you are calling with One moment, please. Please be advised that this firm is a debt collector attempting to collect a debt. Any information obtained will be used for that purpose. Say hello, this is Jared. Hi, this is Tamara Pepperman. I just got another eviction notice on my property that I live in at 19401 Burke Street in South Bend. Um, I have a question for you because when I called law enforcement, they said that your attorney's office had called in and, and prompted the eviction, but I haven't been served by you yet as, as to an unlawful detainer. Okay, what's the, um, sorry, what's the address? 19401 Burke Street in South Bend. So you're saying there hasn't been a share sale? I, I have no idea. I, I went into court on... Uh, February 11th to talk to the judge about the injunction because you guys haven't served me any notice of an unlawful detainer or anything. So we brought in the uh, 2009 Protecting Tenants from Foreclosure Act. Now, you guys aren't adhering to anything, and appa apparently you are the, the, the players that actually push and move things, correct? I mean, law enforcement really doesn't enforce law. It just enforces what the attorneys say. Okay. Um, the, the service that we have, the information on the service comes from the court, uh, and they're showing that the sheriff served notice at the property. No, wait a second. Now, I called law enforcement, and they said you guys called them to facilitate the eviction. I still haven't gotten notice from you. Now, uh, uh, maybe... The eviction? Absolutely. I, I keep getting served by sheriff. You have never served me uh, for an unlawful detainer for any of this shit. I, I've never received anything from you. Uh, for the foreclosure or the eviction? Right, right. There you go. Now, why is there um, an eviction ongoing at this time? Because the sheriff's sale was held. Uh, okay, did, did you serve me? That's not my issue. It's not my issue if you guys are falling down. It's not my issue if you guys are doing something unlawful. That is not my issue. I'm a tenant here. I've not received any service. So what you're doing is unlawful. Now, I'd like the eviction stopped for the next 90 days because I have 90 days under the Protecting Tenants Against Foreclosure Act of 2009. Uh, if you have a copy of your uh, lease, you can send that to us. Uh, that was provided to the court. Uh, when was that given to the court? Uh, January 11th, I believe, somewhere around in there. Or February 11th when I went into the court. <laughs> now, something has to be done here. I'm sick because of what you guys are doing. I'm sick. I'm ill. And I, I would like you to stop. I know that you're not going to because this is just business. However, I do have rights as a tenant. I understand that. We just have to get the, the documents. We'll try to look and see if we've got a copy of that from the court or not. There's a whole bunch of shit in the court and in the U.S. District Court as well. That's another reason. Why are you moving? There's a U.S. District Court case going on. I need to know what's going on. It, it feels to me what's like the, I'm being what's preyed the on. District case about? Excuse me? What's the U.S. You said there's a case with the U.S. District Court. What's that case uh, referring to? Uh, apparently, it's over this foreclosure. You know, th these matters are not uh, uh, resolved at this time, as far as I'm aware. 
Why am I being evicted? Are, is this terrorism? Terrorism? Yeah, are you terrorizing me? No, the eviction is because the property belongs to the bank. Did you give me any notice? Of, of the eviction? Right. Well, how did you find out about it? I got a notice on my fucking door from the sheriff, not from the bank. No, that the sheriff delivers the notice. It doesn't come from the bank. The eviction that, notice? That, that the is bank, the, the bank, no it isn't. What? No, the bank never noticed me that there was an eviction going on until I got a 48-hour notice on my door. The sheriff doesn't work for the bank, does he? No, but the, the court... Well, thank the God, my God. Here I am no, thinking that this is just some violated. schematic, and you guys are terrorizing me. So it, it, this is We're not like a... The process, we file a motion with the court, the sheriff delivers the notice, the notice doesn't come from our office. Are you an attorney? I'm not an attorney, but I work at the attorney's office. Does it work like to serve notice on a tenant, or, or that's just a, a forgotten process now? What do you mean, does it work? Did you serve notice on me about an impending eviction? Or did I get a notice on the door that says I have 48 hours to get the fuck out? I'm not sure what notice the sheriff delivered. I got a 48-hour notice on the door that said get the fuck out. I'm being terrorized by your entity. I have received no notice from the bank, which is you, not the sheriff. Correct? No, that's not how it works. How does it the work sheriff, in your world? The sheriff delivers the notices. Okay, when did I get an unlawful detainer notice? Unlawful retainer notice? Unlawful detainer notice? Did I get anything from your bank telling me that there was an eviction process going on before the eviction? The answer is no. The answer is no. When did you receive the 48-hour notice? On the door, I got another one today. Here's one that says I need to get out by tomorrow morning. And it was your law firm, I was told by law enforcement, that called in and told the sheriff to evict me. Now, I have not received any notice from you under the 2009 Protecting Tenants Against Foreclosure Act. Why is uh, this? According to the sheriff's office, they delivered notice on February 23rd. On February 23rd. Have I gotten any notice from your entity that there was an eviction process in the process so that I could come in and do anything? I understand what I'm saying. We don't send the notice. The court delivers the notice. The Hello? The is the notice. Hello? How do you proceed in an eviction process? You serve the parties, can correct? You, can you hear me? I, I think that you're retarded. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm trying to explain how the court process works. Anytime there's something involving legal action, the notice does not come from the attorney's office. We file the motion with the court. The sheriff delivers the notice. That is the okay. notice from the bank. Okay. The bank was supposed to get a hold of me as a party to this whatever this is. I never received notice from the bank. You have already you received the notice from the sheriff in February. Okay. Did you tell me not by yourself that the sheriff is not a representation of the bank? So I have not received notice from the bank. That's, that's not what I said. The notice from the sheriff is notice of the eviction. Okay, so that the sheriff the, eviction notice. the sheriff is a representation to the bank, correct? As far as the legal matter is concerned, yes. Okay, so the sheriff does not represent the people, it represents banks. The sheriff doesn't represent people. The sheriff delivers notices, they perform actions based on court orders. On behalf of the bank. That's what you just said. No, I'm saying the notice you don't get a separate notice from the bank. It comes from the court notifying well, you that there is an eviction in progress. And there's no such thing as due process anymore, correct? That is the due process. Okay, so I was rece I received a 48-hour evic eviction notice. No due process to the courts maintaining that there was an eviction going on. Did you receive the notice in February delivered by the sheriff? Yes, and I went into court. The court found that you guys had violated the law. And I got to stay on the writ of assistance or whatever. So now the, the judge is acting on his own and the bank is acting on their own, although there's a U.S. District Court case going on. Now, you tell me where, where the law is in this. Because from my eyes and from my standpoint, I am being terrorized by your entity. Hold on, let me see if there's a later court order that we received. I think we got something. Hi, what was your name again?
again? Tamara Pepperman. Yep, I went into court. He found that I'd been injured. The court issued an order referring to a motion filed uh, for a special injunction. Yep. And they filed, they scheduled a hearing. Um, yep, and I didn't think that I had to show up to that one because I was told that I didn't because USDC had it. Now, the case in USDC is still going on. So why are you moving forward? I was told that I didn't have to show up because they didn't have jurisdiction anymore. That the United States District Court has jurisdiction now. Uh, that's not what the judge at the court said. They right. Because they this judge, motion. right, this judge is acting unlawfully, correct? Because the U.S. District Court has jurisdiction. Superior Court no longer has jurisdiction, correct? And yet uh, you're still, uh, you're still, really deal with the district court. right, you're still we're acting on a court order, right, and so during this time where, where it's in, in, in whatever it is, appeal or whatever, why are you moving forward? That's my question, and why, why, why is the sheriff representing the bank? I'm the one being terrorized. Are you, are you saying that the foreclosure is being appealed? Whatever's happening in U.S. district court. Unless, unless the U.S. District Court makes a decision, it doesn't change anything. The, the fact that something's in progress isn't going to affect the foreclosure or the eviction. Yeah, it does. to make a decision to stop it. Okay, so um, can you call back the sheriff and, and tell him not to evict me till 5 o'clock tomorrow so I can file in U.S. District Court? Once the, once the eviction part started, that's just controlled by the sheriff. They do the eviction after it's been requested. Right, unless you call them. That's what they told me. They told me to call you and talk to you. But we don't make decisions from that. That comes from the property owner who's requesting the eviction. No, they said it was you. See, I, I talked to law enforcement. We communicate with the sheriff, but we don't own the property. We're just following the instructions from the property owner. Right, and are they going to move in? Because according to the 2009 Protecting Tenants Against Foreclosure Act, that you can evict me right now if they're going to move in right away. Now, they're not. I have 90 days. Why aren't I given my 90 days? I'm the one that's being evicted here and victimized. I'm a female. I'm tired of this terrorism. I don't see where we received uh, a copy of the lease. So I want to see if... Someone can get a copy of that from the court. You said you gave a copy of the lease to the to the court. Yes, Judge Japlo got whatever. Uh, let's see. You might want to talk to. Send a copy to us. Do you still have a copy available? Probably, but the court. No, that's I'll, that's the court's I'll job. Take us to get a copy from the court. Right. Call the clerk and and ask them to provide you the copy of the lease that I provided the court. I can call and ask, but I know what happens is they're going to ask us to mail them a check and a return envelope. It'll take us a week and a half to get a copy. I'm just okay, saying that's, too long. but that's not my fault. The clerk has been hiding stuff off of the court record this whole time. I can't I even get the that, docket I information. That's not your fault. All I'm saying is there's not a way for us to speed that up. And okay, that, we don't have wait to a second. To stop that. But wait a the second. Eviction. Wait a second. You're victimizing me because of your downfall and your clerk's downfall and, and everybody else's downfall, but I'm the victim. I'm, I'm being evicted. Th those aren't my issues. If it's going to take you a week, call off the eviction for a week so we can get this taken care of. No, the eviction does get canceled unless we have documentation to cancel it with. You do we at the court. The eviction is just to, to look for documents. Right, you have that at the court. It's not my fault that the court failed. That, that, that's what I'm saying. This is not my failure. I'm not saying it is your failure. I'm saying that that's how the process works. Right. That's okay because I'm the one being victimized by your failure. You no, you have to take accountability. Would help us correct this. You have to take accountability. Now I need to know what what's going to happen because according to this little piece of paper, I'm out by eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I still haven't been served anything from the bank. Nothing. No mail. Nothing from the bank. The sheriff I already explained to you earlier in this conversation that the notice doesn't come from the bank, it comes from the 
sheriff. Okay, in the court case, I'm talking about the court case. Did you serve me notice? No, you did not. You said you received the notice from the sheriff. That is the notice. A 48 hour notice on the door is notice from the bank because the sheriff is a representation of the bank, correct? Earlier in the conversation, you said you received the notice in February. That wasn't 48 hour notice. Yes, it was. It was a 48 hour notice stuck to my door. I still haven't received any notice from the bank as required by law. You you guys are a law firm. If you, if you think that something unlawful is being done by the court, then you need to find representation to discuss that with the court. And, and deal with attorneys so I can get screwed over some more? I mean, this is all just a game to you guys. This is not a game. I just can't continue this conversation because you don't believe what I'm telling you. There's nothing I can do right now. Okay, but but see, I, I adhere to the law. You're not adhering to the law. There, there's a big disparity here. You need to talk to the court. Okay, thank you. to crime so I turned it in against the um, judge that was perpetrating RICO and we handed um, the RICO information indictment to the local law enforcement now they're not acting on it and this judge is still coming up against me to do the unlawful eviction proceedings without notice everything else everything's on record and on file with US District Court and Superior Court in St. Joseph's County Indiana I need to know if I have any help from you guys because as a as a witness I kind of want to be protected because I, I was whistleblowing. Okay, uh, can I get the city and state where you're at? Yep, it's South Bend, Indiana. Indiana? Yep. Can you, uh, the city again? South Bend. South Bend. And what's going on is they they haven't acted in any way uh, lawful, and so we brought this forward onto the record. I wasn't given notice, you know, all all this stuff. But n now, because the judge is just rogue, he's just acting on his own. He has been throughout uh, February, and now I, I got another notice that I, I'm supposed to leave by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, but there's still no adjudication in the U.S. District Court case. And then uh, when we lay down the indictment against this judge, I mean, he's crazy. He's maniacal. Something's really wrong, broken with this guy. Um, w once we did that, then he's been reacting uh, since that time. And now I I'm actually fearing for my safety or, or my life. You know, I I'm tired of the harassment and stalking and intimidation. And, and I'm coming to you for some help here because um, I believe that uh, push comes to shove, then... They just off me and, and get what they want anyway. So I'd rather not be killed or something. Um, can I get what major city you're near? Uh, major city? No, it's St. Joseph's yeah. County. There, you have a marshal service in uh, St. Joseph's. Oh, South Bend, okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, okay. I just now found it. Uh, it's the number you're going to need. Do you have a pen and paper to copy? Yep. It's 574-236. 8291, and that's going to be to our Federal Marshal Service there in uh, South Bend. Okay. Uh, and, and they'll uh, be better to assist you. Okay, do I ask for anybody, or...? Um, just tell me your situation, and uh, if they can help, that would be the number to call. Okay, thank you. No problem.
I I am I'm calling for some help here. Uh, recently, I was uh, terrorized and, and everything by a judge, and so we laid down information against this judge. The local law enforcement is saying that it's a civil matter. Prosecuting attorney says if we if we feel like there's been a crime committed. Uh, take it to the local law enforcement, yada, yada. So they're passing the buck and they're protecting this judge that's acting without any authority whatsoever. So we lay down that indictment. Nothing has occurred, and I fear for my life at this time. I just got another notice that I'm to be evicted by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And calling law enforcement, apparently they work for the bank because I was told that, you know, they can't do anything for me. They're, they're going on this judge's void order, but this judge is, he's insane. Something's wrong with him. He's broken and rogue. And I would like some protection, please. Okay, this is the marshal service? Yes, yes. And I would like to be protected as a whistleblower because that's what I've been doing against this judge. Now, this judge is taking retribution against me. I'm in South Bend, Indiana, which is where supposedly you're located. Right. Can we have your name, please? Tamara Pepperman. And would you spell your last name for me, Tamara? P E P P E R M A N. And your phone number? 501 8459. And what's happening? 501 584 Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm not sure that there's anything that we would be able to do for you. I need to be protected because this judge has taken retribution against me. The bank stopped moving in December. This judge is acting of his own volition since that time. And he's doing it out of spite and retribution. He's insane. Okay, can you call the local police? I have, and I gave them the information, and they're not acting on it. But I just got a notice, again, from this judge based on a void order to be evicted. Now, he's doing this in retribution. Under the Protecting Tenants Against uh, Foreclosure Act of 2009, I was supposed to be given notice. I was never given any notice of the eviction until I got the 48-hour notice from law enforcement, thanks to this judge. Now, he's acting unlawfully. There is a case in U.S. District Court at this time. We are doing everything lawful, absolutely lawful. And this, this nutball judge is terrorizing me. I need help. Okay, you protect whistleblowers, though. That's what I'm saying. I've been whistleblowing. If you go through the case, he is absolutely corrupt, maniacal, and insane. Please help me. That's your function. I need help. Okay, there's nothing I can do for you. Okay, what, what, what do you suggest I do? So when the judge right. comes after me and he orders the sheriff to kill me on his command, that's okay, right? Have you he has by eviction. I got another notice on my door. He's stalking and harassing me without lawful authority of any kind. I never got any notice from the bank. This guy is nuts. He's rogue. Okay, well, that's not something that the U.S. Marshal Service handled. Okay, but... Okay, and when I called him, I put around to the... Through, through everybody else, too. Nobody wants to hear. They're protecting this judge. Please help me. I'm sorry, there is nothing I can do for you in this case. Where do I go to get protection against a judge that's rogue, absolutely insane, maniacal? Okay, you call 911. And, and then I get it for what? Yes. False reporting? Because this isn't, according to them, this isn't even an emergency. I called them already. And they're acting on the behest of the law firm involved. They're not supposed to be working for law firms or banks. Who's working for a law firm? That's what the, I was told today from the sheriff. The sheriff works for the law firm. They're acting at the behest of the law firm. Right. I need help. They're supposed to be 
law enforcement, not attorney enforcement. Yes, they left another notice on my door. What what do you call that? Absolutely, I got another notice on my door, meaning he's sending the sheriff out armed to the teeth in the morning. That is a militia that this guy is sicking upon me. It can't. I got it after business hours. When I got the notice tonight, he had he knew it was after court hours. And it's for 8 o'clock in the morning that he's sending out a militia to evict me without lawful ability. Please help me. If you read the, if you read the file. Okay, so are you guys part of this schematic or you just work in tandem? We have nothing to do with that. Okay, so what I've learned throughout this whole process is that you guys are a bunch of domestic terrorists and we just need to take it, right? I mean, this is terrible. You guys have sold your soul to, your to something. What does your landlord say? How can he protect me? I, I've gone through all of these avenues. I even went to the court and went in front of this Shiplo character, and he's a raving lunatic. Did you get an attorney? I don't trust attorneys. This is what we're dealing with right now, is attorneys... That are point, if you don't have your own attorney, I don't see how anyone else can help you. Wait a second. I'm supposed to be protected by law enforcement, not attorneys, and then law enforcement that work on behalf of attorneys. But the marshal service doesn't, doesn't intervene in these cases. Okay, what, it, what do you do exactly? This is for federal criminals. You protect federal criminals? No. Right, that's what, no it isn't, no it isn't. This judge has violated every concept of RICO. No it isn't, he's violated every RICO. Okay, can I have your fax number? Because I can show you exactly what he's done. He has violated RICO as to every variant in the state of Indiana. Human trafficking, kidnapping, promoting prostitution. Wait, 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 I'm dealing with a corrupt judge in a court. How do I overcome this impasse? This judge. Okay, so you really don't have a function. Who protects citizens? Who protects human beings against corrupt judges? A civil matter. He's 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 harassing. So I can buy my protection. I I need to purchase protection now through an attorney. And there is no such thing as law enforcement anywhere to be found. Correct? I mean, you're not enforcing law. He's a criminal. He's insane, maniacal. We did. We did on on the evidence. We have evidence that he's moving where the bank wasn't even moving. He's doing this out of retribution. This is kidnapping and, and human trafficking. I need help. We have evidence his crimes. He signed orders evidencing his own crimes in the order. Yes, it is, because they're foreclosing on the real estate, which is the human body. You, you need to look that up and see what a surety is, because a surety is a human being. It can only be a natural person. And so when they do the foreclosure, they're foreclosing on the estate, the human body. And, and all you have to do is... Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's scaring me to death. No, no, no. I, I have been absolutely terrorized, intimidated, harassed by this corrupt judge. He's but the a. Service is not 
Okay, tell me who to go to. Landlord tenant court. That's the same. That's the same court we were just in with the corrupt judge. You're asking me to go in front of the corrupt judge to ask him nicely to not be corrupt. How's that going to work for me? Okay, so really you have no function then. It's not, okay, you you tell me how corruption in the courts is it's not a criminal matter. I mean, this is a joke, right? Then, then you need to call an attorney to, to fight your behalf. It, it, you're, it's not the marshal Okay, you, you need, I don't know, get a copy of Black's Law Dictionary perhaps or something, and then maybe we won't need attorneys so we can be protected and, and have... Law enforcement, there really is a law enforcement enforcing policy, which is corporate policy here. This is, this is insane. I, I'm asking you to enforce laws, but apparently you're just a court, you're like a, right, 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 we already ex uh, evidence his crimes during the uh, proceedings here, and, and you're telling me that you're, you're basically a mall security guard. You're enforcing corporate policy. We're not enforcing that. Okay. You're asking a criminal judge to enforce the law of law enforcement service. No, I'm a, I'm asking a law enforcement service to enforce the law. He's violating. No. Okay. Okay, what about the the um, Protecting Tenants Against Foreclosures Act? That's a law, correct? I mean, I know that you're probably not that up on acts or laws as law enforcement, but that's a law. He violated that law. He it's violated... A law. It's a what? Simple. Not okay, why are people charged with these things every day? It's still simple. It's a double standard. And it, it confirms to me that it's corporate policy. Yes, it's corporate policy. This is really sad. Yeah, this is really sad. You know this, right? And it's terrifying. And I'm really sorry for the position that you're in as well. Because this is, this is ridiculous. You're a corporate security guard, and there is no law enforcement. That's your question. Yeah. Well, have a great day.